Here we go. In Quinn are heading around. The buck she's after. He's been uh, coming in. Daylight hours as early as six. What do we call him? Big Brown. All right. Quinn's first day ever in the whitetail stand. That's a nice deer, Quinn. Good job, girl. Good job. We all search for it. Some of us work our entire lives to get there, hoping to get that one chance at the deer of a lifetime. And no matter how hard we work, many never will. But we learn along the way that all that work is what we love, what drives the pursuit. We pass on what we know to our children to give birth to their own search and hope with all that preparation and dedication. And sometimes some luck that someday, someday we'll be handed the keys that open a door to a land where legends live. I saw him, I'm like, oh my god, I want him. It's a heavy, crazy cold deer. Extra stickers. Probably the biggest deer I've ever killed. That's pretty neat with those flyers on the front. <laughs> Just an absolutely fantastic deer. He's a gorgeous deer. There's no way a guy could ask for any more. Stealth Cam presents Dean Partridge's Canadian Whitetail. Brought to you by Ozonics, undetectable, undeniable. Monster Meal, attract, nourish, retain. Excalibur Crossbow, different for a reason. Heater Body Suit, number one in cold weather hunting gear. New archery products, hunt with confidence. Bog, engineered for the unknown. Hoyman, your land, your legacy. Muddy, Serious gear for serious hunters. Glendale 3D Targets, the biggest and toughest 3D targets in the world. Nocturnal lighted knocks, switch on accuracy, and let it glow. Boyd's Hardwood Gun Stocks, better with Boyd's. Raculator, score your trophy fast, easy, and accurate. Old timer knives, built for generations. And by Stealth Cam, proven reliability, proven quality, proven performance. Over the last couple of years, I've witnessed firsthand those huge first hunting moments, watching your children find success in the field. And this week we're going with Ken Hayworth, who's taking his daughter Quinn on her very first deer hunt ever. And if Ken's track record is any indicator, you know it's gonna be a good one. Summer and early fall for Ken and family have spent scouting, setting up, cleaning lanes, and checking cameras. And this year, after setting up their muddy bale blind and putting out some monster meal, they returned to check the card from their stealth cam to find a gorgeous buck for young Quinn Hayworth to hunt. The big-bodied velvet brute was an unknown buck to Ken and Quinn, but a fitting target. And 12-year-old Quinn rounds the summer out practicing away with her bow, waiting for opening day. With arrows in the boiler room and one proud dad, the season was here and Quinn was headed in on one very windy September day. Right. September 3rd, 2019, Quinn's first day ever in the whitetail stand. We got a, a deer coming in here, pretty nice 5x5. Five five. It's her choice, her pick, her first year hunting. Got her hooked up with an elite bow, so she's been practicing. She's got it zoned in so we're gonna see what happens got in here early after the first day of school today this year and uh hopefully we can make th some things happen we don't got names for either of the deer she was asking me on the way in what are we gonna name the deer because everybody names a deer so we don't got no names for these deer so we're gonna have to think about that and i guess quinn can make her mind up and maybe make a choice and decide what she wants to name him but we're going to get settled in here and get quiet and we'll see what happens this evening.
Early in the evening, the first buck for the day arrives for Quinn. As the day winds out, Quinn and Dad can get to see and enjoy multiple young bucks. No target, but enjoyable nonetheless. This segment is brought to you by Hoyman and the new no-slip H-Grip on their full line of tools. Best in class tools for every application. Hoyman, your land, your legacy. Canadian Whitetail is also brought to you by Central Boiler Outdoor Furnaces, the ultimate wood heat. Black Eagle Arrows, advanced carbon technology. Tinks, makers of the finest deer lures and scents. Tacticam, share your hunt. Wild Edge, makers of the stepladder. Cyclops, get out of the dark. Stierka Optics, we see things differently. Elite Archery, the world's most shootable bow. And by Scott Archery. This segment of Canadian Whitetail is brought to you by Nocturnal Lighted Knox. Nocturnal Lighted Knox, string activated, simple, switch on accuracy, and let it glow. All right, we're back in here again, September 4th. Uh, got the Ozonic set up, got Quinn all rigged up here. See if we can make her happen. All right. Day two, going for Quinn. Some familiar faces arrive on Quinn's day too, and just at last light she sees her best buck to date. This full velvet 4x4, but tonight is not the night, and Ken and Quinn make their plan to return. Here we go. Me and Quinn are heading her in September 28th. Uh, the buck she's after, he's been uh, coming in, daylight hours as early as 6, legal shooting time's done at 7, so let's hope he comes in with really good light for us and we get a good look at him and get an opportunity, so he's all ready. Sadly, it's only our third time going in this year. We've been kids in cross country, hockey, it's uh, getting cold. Let's hope they're calling for maybe even snow tomorrow. So let's hope that that uh, gets the deer moving and gets them moving early for us. We're hoping they'll get moving early tonight and uh, Quinn gets a crack at one of them. See if we can get her done. It's her first, first year of hunting, so. Seeing the same couple young bucks early, this evening Quinn was about to see her target in person and up close. Even bigger than they'd thought from the stealth cam, the big-bodied buck was headed their way. Welcome to this week's Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment. Locate. Learn. Set up. Hunt. Brought to you by Muddy Outdoors. Trying to accurately age a deer on the hoof can be difficult, especially when you don't have the history with that animal. Essentially, the history with that deer is the best indication to knowing that deer's exact age. But when you don't have it, there are ways that you can come close. Contrary to popular belief, the antler size, the number of tines, and the configuration is not a good indication of age. We've had deer grow their biggest and their gnarliest racks at three and four years old. We've also had deer peak at 10 years old. So using antler size and antler configuration is not an accurate way to age a deer. 
Rather, we're gonna use body characteristics to try to get an accurate age on that deer. So young deer, those one to two year old bucks, they're gonna have a tight waist. They're gonna essentially look like a doe with antlers. They're gonna have a larger rear end than their front end. That two to three year old buck, as they grow up, he's still gonna be long and lanky. He's gonna have the long legs that look too long for his body. He's still gonna have a larger rear end than his front end and still be quite tight in the waist. At four years old, that deer's starting to grow up. So now his hind and his front end are starting to match more. His brisket's gonna to start to round out a little bit and be less pronounced. When you get into that five-year-old age class, now you've got a large proportion deer. He's got a big chest, huge swelling, and massive shoulders in the rut. And that brisket, again, is gonna continue rounding out and become less pronounced. Now when you get into that six-plus-year-old age class, it starts to get really difficult to nail down how old that deer is. You've got a large-bodied animal with a big chest, even larger and more powerful, and a big neck in the rut. They start to get a round belly, a bit of sag in their back, and some of those bucks will even start to get what looks like a Roman nose. Their brisket will have also rounded out and melted into their body to the point that they might now look like they've got a bit of a sagging brisket. Now fully mature and in the prime of his life, images of these deer are often what we see when we think of kings and legends of the whitetail woods. Now the only way to know exactly how old that deer is is to have the history with that deer. But these are just some tips to help you narrow down and try to determine what age class that buck you're looking at might be in. This week's Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment has been brought to you by Muddy Outdoors. Share your own muddy moment. This segment of Canadian Whitetail has been brought to you by Bog. More than just a shooting rest. Bog. Engineered for the unknown. Quinn's big target buck was on the scene and closing to within range, fast, though a bit too quartered towards him for a good shot. Right as the buck turns and Quinn gets ready, the deer doesn't stop, and now facing straight away, starts to head off. And heartbreakingly, Quinn watches her target buck walk off, never offering her a chance. Day four, last night, i come in, good light, perfect, got him walking in early, everything stops quartering towards us for like eight minutes, then he just turns right away from us and just slowly walks, the slowest walk ever, stops, plays around with the willows, leaving some scent, smelling some scent, and then he walked off, so we waited till dark and we got the heck out of here. So. We didn't get the snow last night. We're forecasted to get rain and snow tonight, 90% chance. It's cold, it's windy tonight, and a crosswind, which is not a bad wind. Hopefully they'll make her happen tonight. With the buck still on camera, including just this morning, they hope the weather has the big fella on his feet. With the regulars making their rounds, they are often looking to Quinn's left, and with one last jerk of their heads to look off that way, Quinn sees why. Taken by surprise, Quinn wants to lose her bulky jacket to shoot, and will need to, fast. When again the buck turns to quarter towards them with no shot. And when he turns to chase the other bucks off, Quinn sees her chance. Oh, there. It's okay. 
I seen Quinn's buck go down over there. I jumped up, stuck my head out the window when he went out in the field. Oh man. And uh, she got her ball drawn, settled that pin, and she smoked him. I'm sure he's, I'm sure he's laying there. We're gonna give it a few minutes. Let me calm down. See if he's laying out there. It's a beauty book. This segment brought to you by AAE. Innovation and integrity is in our blood. Quality and dependability is in our products. This segment has been brought to you by the Heater Body Suit. The Heater Body Suit is the ultimate cold weather hunting garment that allows you to stay on stand longer and sit comfortably. The Heater Body Suit. You stay warm or your money back. With her dad by her side, Quinn had just seen the buck that she was looking for and made an absolutely perfect shot. Well, we just got out of the blind, so uh, I'm gonna go take a look. Uh, I've seen the arrow fly. I'm, I'm sure we got him. I thought I seen him going down. I don't see him laying in the field out there, but uh, we're gonna go find Quinn's arrow, see what kind of penetration, see what kind of blood. And uh, I didn't find no blood, Quinn. No blood at all. But look what I do see. Quinn, good job. Proud dad here. Pretty proud dad. My girl. Oh, 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 Quinn. Yeah. He's done, Quinn. Oh, my. I don't know what it is about you young kids. You guys are smoking some deer. Quinny got, what do we call him? Big Brown. Big Brown, she named this one. There was this one and another 4x4 four four that had a split G2s. But this is the one she really wanted. He's got nice wide, nice tines. Got a huge body on him. I don't have a bunch of history on him, but. And then I was having troubles pulling back my bow and I had a really, really thick jacket on. So then we carefully took that off and slowly took it off because that jacket make, made lots of noise when we pulled it off. And then once I took that off, I was able to pull my bow back. That was good. Yesterday this deer come in, quartering towards us. Not a good shot, stood there for eight minutes. Hard, eh? Mm -hmm. Heart was pumping. Although today when it come in and she couldn't draw her bow, then she just looked down and she says, her heart wasn't even pumping. Her legs were shaking a little bit, she said, but her heart wasn't even pumping. So that's good. That's a nice deer, Quinn. Good job, girl. Good job. First animal hunting. Yep. With a bow mm -hmm. that she just got, I don't know, a little more than a month ago, month yeah. and a half ago. She worked hard, did a lot of practicing. I don't know how many people can say that they uh, got a deer like this for their first time mm -hmm. <laughs> with a bow. You know, me, four corn with a rifle. Good job, girl. I'm not sure who is more excited, Quinn or maybe her dad, Ken, but I can relate. And either way, it's a memory that neither one of them will ever forget. And congratulations, Quinn, on an absolutely fantastic whitetail. And for your first day ever, just incredible. Sharing the same name and hunting traditions as your dad, I'm sure that it's only the first in a long line of great deer and memories to come. Speaking of which, stay tuned next week when Ken's after a deer for himself. A big heavy 6x5 with his muzzle loader. Hunting a big old box sometimes takes a bit of creativity. And when the work's done, you're ready, headed in, and all set up waiting and anticipating. And the buck doesn't follow the plan. You need to be able to adjust on the fly. 
muzzle loader, you get the big puff of smoke. I don't know what happened. <laughs> we'll see. This segment has been brought to you by Wild Edge and the ultimate climbing system, the Step Ladder. Safely design your climb in any tree, anywhere, with the most versatile, lightweight, and compact climbing system, the Step Ladder. To book your own dream hunt in northern Saskatchewan, please contact us at Canadian Whitetail Outfitters. Canadian Whitetail has also been brought to you by these fine sponsors. For exclusive content, follow Dean and the team on Facebook, as well as on Instagram and Twitter, at Whitetail Dean. To view all past and present episodes of Canadian Whitetail, as well as new original content, visit us on our YouTube and Carbon TV channels. For Canadian Whitetail gear and apparel, visit CanadianWhitetailTV.com. Thank you.